gets another start here this year. Tommy Lloyd in his first year as the Arizona head coach. Can he get his number one Wildcat team into the Sweet 16? Yes, he did. He let you know what his facial expression, Lisa. He did. He is into the game already. He might not put up double figures, but he's something to watch for the celebration. Boy, drilling in is Chuck O'Bannon on his first shot. They did exactly that, and here they are running. Ball trying to lay it off. Ball hanging high off the glass for two. Others will, you know, they'll let their team play, and it seems like Arizona's going to continue to play. From behind, it was Miller. Here's a run for Emmanuel Miller. Oh, the tip follow. What a start for O'Bannon. It's Eddie Lampkin. No matter what kind of play is made, he'll let you know the positive players. Look at boy, Arizona and their back cuts, something that every opponent has to tangle with. In fact, they beat Kansas back on March 1st. Taking on a number one seed is not intimidating for them. There's the back door and the lay-in there for Kyle. Coloco did a nice job, held his big up so he couldn't get over and rotate. Easy layup. Miles from about 15 feet out. This building was jumping with Arizona fans, but now that Crisa has entered the game, it really is, and Coloco gets his fourth point. Once Coloco gets that jump hook above his head, it's hard to contest it. And if you're a smaller defender, it's over. Did he call glass on that? It doesn't matter, it's the celebration that counts he for Eddie his, Lampkin. He stuck his tongue out and said, yes, I did. Here's the high roll. Coloco with the finish. And the handoff to Farabello. He's the best three-point shooter TCU has. They find a post-touch for Lampkin. And working it around nicely in the perimeter. Oh, Pannon's got another. He has eight for the game. Two things right there. You get a chance to get him a three-point shooter. They don't shoot it well. Good move by Coloco. And then also you get him his confidence. It loosens up that defense. Very high off the glass. Coloco with the rebound. Finish. What a start. 13 in the game. Had to save it. Matherin gives it up. Wow. The one-handed hammer to Bellis. Starts his move. Drawing it in. That's a tough angle. The tip. Lampkin stays with it for two. He's got five. That's what, that's what the kids do these days. I would have been more impressed if he was the 1999 NBA champion, <laughs> Steve Kerr. <laughs> Baseline jam for O'Bannon Jr. He's got 10. Xavier Cork doing a nice job of front and getting that deflection. Miles Jr., wow, tough angle and tough finish for his seventh point. So far, doing a nice job of keeping Ben in check. After now, that's a good drive by him. Did finish. Coloco, seven for seven for 16 points in the first half. Clean it up, big fella. Clean it up. So we'll do the job in that. Uh, just get a little better job physical, blocking him out. Thanks, Coach. Guys, Coloco has four rebounds here for the game, and all four on the offensive rebounding side, and five points now for Matthew. His family can come and watch him play, and uh, just good family. Coloco's having a field day. Lampkin pumped in. Ooh, he took it to Coloco that time. Got him up in the air and made him pay. Not getting a technical foul because that was a lot of extra on the rim, big fella. Larson high off the glass and and one. He's out of the game here right now. TCU, what could they do with this offensive possession? Three attempt. That's what they can do. Oh, Pannon likes that spot. <laughs> you have the mop in your hand. You got to have eyes in the back of your head. After he gets a look, what a tough angle and a stare down to the TCU bench. <laughs> That's still out of the huddles. We've seen her down on one knee, stretching her neck. They hear in this really around. loud arena. <laughs> Miller gets it to drop. <laughs> Low look again, guys. Ballo 
going to get a plus one at the free throw line. Especially against a team with this type of length and size of, as we've been talking about the entire day. Ball goes back door to Lampkin. Not pouting about a turnover. Ooh, Miles Jr. cut up. Leads to this ball with the pick and roll finish. Mike Miles said, let me have that one. Between two defenders. Mm, Mike Miles Jr. went got up. And that's the one I like right there. Take away his jumping ability. Emmanuel Miller has taken a seat here for TCU. He's picked up three personals. There's that double team coming that Mike Miles Jr. typically sees, but he finds O'Bannon for yet another three-pointer at 16 here for the game. Lampkin trying to give the clock to the day one. <laughs> this is what March Madness is all about. He's going mad, but in a good way. Oh, back the other way, two pellets, and one. Getting them fired up for this offensive possession. Miles Jr. from the wing. You put your hand in my face and I still made it? <laughs> I'll show you that. law play to Coloco. If Matherin the look. And Matherin is now two of nine, two of seven for three-point territory. The rip away, Terry will take it. And lays it in for two. Coloco with that back down, goes off the glass. 22 for the big man. Testing his mobility. He looks okay, just stretching it and moving it around. Ball challenging, high off the glass for two. Cruz feeding Coloco. No, oh, they're talking right now. Look at Ben and Eddie. Ooh, go catch your body, Ben. Wow, did he cock that one back. <laughs> Eddie, in that situation, he's not trying to get the TCU fans involved. Ooh. Man, when did you bring him back? Yeah. Think about that as Miller gets the two. Maybe subbing out for a defensive possession. But I don't think you can wait any longer. Kyer with the lay-in. So that's another four minutes of game time. They got to yeah. go without him. Miller denied by Coloco. Five seconds on the clock. And the shot clock did not reset. Ball oh, denied again by Coloco. Not tonight. We don't need to right now because we're only down one. From the corner. Creaser's first points of the night. One and done that time for TCU. Matherin takes it all the way. He's in for two. Matherin shuffle pass with ball movement for Aaron Zona. Potty, bucket and one. Coloco. Let's see where TCU goes on this one. High pick and roll. Mike Miles has to make a play. Set <laughs> back the other way. Oh, with the Matambo finger wave. <laughs> Not in my house. Al Jr. Paw oh, skies for it. O'Banner oh, Jr. Knocks it down. 23 and a new career high. Doing a nice job not giving Arizona any second shots. Picks it up. And roll game and spread the floor. Miles Jr. not going to miss that one. TCU has the lead. Miles Jr. Mm. off the side of the backboard. That was a lot of contact. It's Perry for the equalizer. Lampkin Jr. challenging. for TCU. Back door for Matherin. It's a two, it's a one point game. Yep. Ball leading Ooh. in. Lampkin is there for the tip. Lampkin is there for the bucket. 20 now for Eddie Lampkin Jr. Terry with nowhere to go. 
Eddie doing a nice job sliding his feet. mistake right here on a pick and roll coverage between Miles Jr. and O'Bannon Jr. in that situation and Ben Matherin made them pay. I think Miles thought they were going to push it to him. TCU can take the final shot. Miles Jr. No call. Terry, the runner, the dog. Right now, Coach Lloyd didn't take out Kerr. He's been playing offense, defense with him. That's that. that. Offensive rebound. It's a big one for Matherin. He's got 26. Eight to shoot. Count the bucket. Matherin gives it up. Grisa. No call. Carissa will get another chance at it. How about a third opportunity? That's not good. Matherin with another big offensive rebound. Matherin puts it up. Wow. He's open on the weak side. He's going for it. it. They find it. Open. And for three. Could he kick the bounce? Single digits on the shot clock. Here's three to play. Matherin puts it up with two on the shot clock. Final few seconds of this one, Miles Jr. not there.